Hey, so I thought we'd talk about uh, this unique situation that I find myself in, which is in February of 2021, opening Double Masters VIP packs. Um, now, when these came out in, I believe it was August of 2020, um, I kind of just totally dodged buying these. Um, this is me struggling to open the box and having to resort to using a comb, which was the sharpest thing I had to hand. <laughs> so I totally missed opening the VIP um, master's pack so I knew there was a big debacle with you know sending the UPC codes for free boosters because of the like misnaming and and the fact that they were like so expensive and stuff um so I just started opening the box here and I was like I wonder if I can open it without damaging it and then um, I was like oh no I can't because I thought there might be a scam with like opening them and then resealing them with glue um and then pushing the packs out to have a look at the cards because I think conceivably you probably could get a knife and ram him in there. And I was like, that's dodgy. So anyway, um, a friend of mine owns a online store. And I have just lost my distributor. They've stopped selling magic cards um, since the pandemic. So I need my friend um, who has this online store to be able to get me magic products. Um, so... Uh, he needed to buy a big order with a new supplier um, in order to like prove his worth. Um, this is me talking about how Ickle Wellspring was like a 10 quid foil before the reprint. And obviously uh, Tron Lands were like 45 quid foils and stuff. Um, so anyway, yeah, my friend um, got had to bid this big order and I was like, Look, I'll, um, I'll grab some, some double Masters booster. VIP whatever's off you um galvanic blast was loads of money as well um so I'll grab those off you to help you out essentially um and I didn't know if I was going to open them or not and then I got them and I was like I'm going to open them and then straight away I got a wing end zone and I was like I'd, I wish that I'd not open these now I instantly regret it and then I got glimmer void and glimmer void was a really expensive foil and it's not anymore and I was like I've goofed and then I got the fatal push and I was like that's an eight pound card for a, a booster that cost me 80 quid and then i saw amateur and amateur is the flavor text for buff <laughs> the most expensive card in the pack finger guns a little bit swearing so i was like okay it was officially worth owning the vip box but i got two um, and like I say, literally it cost me eighty pounds each, one hundred and sixty quid, and I was like, do I do I open whatever? I even got a good good foil land, so I was only going to open one, um, because I assumed that I would lose my money essentially. Um, but then I was like, well, four souls currently two hundred and forty euros on the European marketplace, so like what two hundred and twenty quid by the time I sold it. I was like, that's paid for both of them, and it's paid 60 quid for me to whatever and I've got myself a fatal push um which I don't really care about but fits into my aristocrats deck in modern so yeah whatever so then I was like you know what I'm gonna open the second one <laughs> so I opened the second one and like I say I've never never opened these packs before I think that 85 quid for a single booster despite having two lottery packs in it is is crazy I think I'd I'd probably rather risk the value on a booster box on the not Kaldheim which is obviously the latest out because that's a, a garbage fire set but yeah i was saying that um uh, to my friends who are watching on spell table that you know tronlands and ickle wellspring galvanic blast and penta prism and throwing a guest and stuff like that, these were cards that were an amount of money like i've got an artifact based deck that runs ickle wellspring and penta prisms and they were like 10 to 15 quid each for the foils and i was like i'm not paying that they'll get reprinted at some point and then to Double Masters came and, you know, and nerfed everything value. I think Valorous Dance was seven quid when I first started playing uh, Magic um, in 2015. So Time Sieve is terrible. Ratchet Bomb is like a 20p foil or something like that because it's got a buy a box promo. And I was like, I've made a mistake again. And then I got the Urza's as mine and I was like, well, that's like 15 quid. Oh, well, at least I got the Force of Will. And then I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> got jason mine sculptor however there's a big ass print line down the bottom of that sorry i didn't <laughs> i can resist i can resist and i even got a nice land again i got another cool swamp but yeah i um there's a big print line down there but all in all um well worth opening the packs